Hey, what's up YouTube? Houston here. And for those of you just finding my YouTube channel, welcome. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and that bell. And for those of you that's been following me and supporting me, salute. And for my favorite patrons, always double salute. Now, today's video, we're actually going to talk about how to get a $10,000 or higher unsecured loan with a 580 credit score. So basically, I'm going to show you the data points. If you're trying to outsmart the banks to get to be able to get a, a loan and you have bad credit and you have a high DTI, I'm going to show you the data points and which lenders that you actually should be going after. Because I know we apply for loans when we have bad credit with regular banks and they turned us down, but they never tell us why, right? Well, here's something that you need to know. All right, first understanding that with some banks and some lenders, if they're saying, well, we don't do a hard pull on the credit. Well, what they're doing on the back end of that, and I've said this in many of my other videos, is that they're using third party system to verify your information, right? So they're using like Clarity, which is owned by Experian, Data X, which is owned by Equifax, Trust Factor, which is owned by TransUnion. You have a CoreLogic, LexisNexis, ARX, right? So these are the systems they're actually using. Now, the first three, those are the main systems, like if you had a payday loan or you had a loan in the past and you went bad on it and stuff, you definitely want to freeze those accounts if you're trying to go after a lender or whatever. So this is one of the reasons why that most people that have bad credit have a high DTI because they're not even aware of these systems and actually how to get access to them. By the way, also, these same systems is what you should freeze when you're trying to remove negative items off your credit as well, okay? Now, let's talk about some of these lenders, all right? So, like with Cash USA Personal Loans, they're not focused on the credit score, okay? They use other data metrics. Their other data metrics, they may be looking at how long you've been on the job, how much is your income, how long you've been at your residence. OK, now, one of the things I always tell you guys in terms of when you're trying to get a credit card or personal loan or something of that nature, you should include all the household income. So if you have a spouse, you need to include her spouse uh, income on that application. If you have a, a, a roommate that's uh, helping pay the expenses then you definitely need to include that income that they're giving you. If you're retired, you got money coming from an annuity or 401k, you need to um, include that information, okay? So they would know that, hey, I have a good income. I can afford this here loan, right? And so look at that. So that being said, uh, you can borrow from Cash USA from five hundred up to ten thousand. You do have to have an active checking account. Okay. Now the good thing about Cash USA, they are a marketplace, so they don't just work with one lender. They work with multiple lenders, including the casinos. That's what tribal mean, lenders mean. That the casinos they loan out money as well. So you may get a loan from a storefront bank or you may get it from the casino you would not know that but that's what they do all right now you have credit loans now credit loans is again another one of those lenders they're not focused on the credit okay they're focused more on a uh, stated income basically how much income you have how long you've been on the job you know those are things that are most uh, important to them now in terms of um the percentage of approval, they state they have a higher percentage of approval, a 90% at that. So they go from 250 up to 40,000. Now, unfortunately, they're not available in New York and Connecticut. However, that if you have bad credit, they have loans up to $5,000. Now you have Avant. Avant personal loans. Now, here's where some good data metrics you can understand, okay? They do a soft pull. Average credit score, excuse me, the credit score is about a 580. But here's something that's also interesting. They tolerate a DTI of 70%. The average debt-to-income ratio is 
Okay, now you can borrow anywhere from two thousand to thirty five thousand. You do have to have an active bank account, phone, email. Average credit score is a six forty four. Now, again, you do not have to have a six forty four credit score. That's just an average, okay? Because they do look at other data points. All right, education how long you've been on a job, how long you've been at your resident. So those are the data points that may supersede your credit score in order to get qualified. Now, the minimum income, annual income is about $20,000. Uh, average monthly, you're looking at about $12,000, excuse me, $1,200 a month. That includes alimony, child support, or other income. Okay, that's the reason I tell you guys is you have to think about what other income I have that can show that I have a larger, a much bigger income than what's stated on my paycheck, okay? Now, average income, um, net income is $4,000 a month, but that's just average. But that does not mean that you would not get qualified for a loan through Avant if you're not um, having that average income. So just keep that in mind. Now, you have upstart personal loans. Now, upstart personal loans, they're more flexible. Again, not worried about the credit score, soft pool. They're looking at TransUnion, FICO, not. By the way, guys, the lenders that I'm telling you, these are all uh, lenders that more likely are looking at a FICO 9 score or they're looking at those other credit bureaus and stuff like that. So they're not looking at your FICO 8, which is coming from the banks, all right? So that's the reason that these here lenders, they have a, a larger threshold uh, to work with you to help you get qualified for funding, okay? So their loans is in all 50 states. So New York, there you go if you're trying to get a lender uh, to give you a personal loan if you have bad credit and a high DTI. Uh, they borrow from, they loan from 1000 up to 50000 The DTI is reason I put that here. And again, they have a high DTI. You're looking at average about close to 70%. But their debt to income ratio is divided by total monthly debt by your gross monthly income. Because I know I said DTI, DTI, DTI. And a lot of people are like, what does that mean? So DTI means debt to income ratio and it's divided by your total monthly debt payment by your gross monthly income. So now you have an understanding. Now their reference point uh, annual gross income is 12,000 annually, okay? But you do have to have valid email, valid phone, valid uh, bank account, active bank account. So you can have a full-time job, you can have a part-time job, uh, you can have a job if you're coming out of college, you know you have a guaranteed job that you're going to be working in six months. They're willing to work with you. Now, for those people that are like door dashers, Instacart drivers, uh, Uber, Lyft, um, any type of side hustle type of job, make sure you put that on the application, that income. I was talking to a client. She was like, well, I got this regular job here, but I also do DoorDash on the side. So she had all this income, but she never included it on the application. But when she started including, guess what? She got higher lines of credit. So you have to make sure you're including all lines of credit. Now, what if that's all you're doing is DoorDash and stuff like that? Long as you meet these requirements, you should be able to get qualified for a loan. And like I said, the higher the number, the higher chance you have to get like a $10,000 loan. And again, these are fintech companies. They're not going to put hard inquiries on your credit score until, like with Upstart, the only time they put a hard inquiry is when you actually take the loan. Then they'll do an actual real hard inquiry. But everything else is like soft pull pre-approval, so you don't have to worry about it. So if you don't take the loan or don't get approved, the inquiry won't show up. By the way, inquiries on loans and stuff between 5 to 10 points, but good payment history over 3 to 6 months, that 10 points you gain back. Okay. Now, upgrade. Again, another lender um, with a very high threshold, 75% debt-to-income ratio. The only thing about it, 
They don't operate in Colorado, Idaho, New York, Vermont, Virginia, Wisconsin, and Wyoming, but we did address some other lenders that work with you. Now, the uh, minimum credit score is a 560, so it's still below a 580. So if you got a 580 and this is accepting a 560, okay, bar average is 678, uh, loans go from 500 to 50,000. Minimum annual income is does a state, but average is about seventy eight thousand. Again, we talked about overall household income to be able to get over that threshold. Now, on the credit file, you have to have at least two accounts, okay, two primary accounts on the credit file, okay. And we talked about the debt to income ratio, which is seventy five percent. Now. If you guys have any questions about business credit, personal credit, how to get business credit funding, personal credit funding, how to remove negative items off of your personal credit, you need to schedule one-on-one consultation. Click the link below and schedule one-on-one consultation. Thank you.